Hey, what's up, guys? It's Derek Collins with the Diverse Center here to talk to you about emotional intelligence. Now, this is one of my favorite topics to talk about because I'm always trying to work on my emotions and my mood and improve myself so I can take my life to the next level. And if you guys don't know what emotional intelligence is, it's basically having social awareness and self-awareness of who you are and how to manage your emotions and understand the emotions of others and being able to say the right things at the right time or do the things that you need to do at the right time, even though you don't feel like it so I love it so much because I'm always trying to manipulate my emotions control my emotions because I've always made dumb decisions when I'm super emotional and I'm not trying to do that anymore I've lost a lot of money that way and I don't want you guys to lose any money either right or or even lose relationships all right so one of the best ways to have emotional intelligence is to know who you are be self-aware pay attention to yourself no one should know you better than you know yourself uh, understand your natural tendencies, understand your habits, pay attention to yourself, write the things that you do down every single day and pay attention to them. What's the first shoe that you put on when you get up in the morning? Uh, what's the first thing you wash on your body when you get in the shower? Pay attention to stuff like that, all right? Find out what motivates you, right? Like for me, watching Rocky IV, the training montage of Rocky IV motivates me to go work out, right? Or I know if I go to the gym, I better put on some nice gym clothes because I'm, if I'm looking busted in the gym and I see myself in the mirror because I know myself, I'm going to walk out, all right? So I need, to, I need to wear nice gym clothes when I go into the gym. All right, these are certain things I know about, about myself. I also know about myself that I need to study at night. I'm a night owl, I'm a night person. So when I went to grad school, I took night classes because I knew I would perform better at night. So that makes you think about standardized testing. You know, when I was a kid, shoot, if they would have gave me the test at the end of the day, I think I would have done better in standardized testing. So I think you guys need to know more about yourselves and manage your emotions. I need to be on the left side of the classroom in front of the class for me to uh, retain information. I know that I cannot screw in a light bulb, so I'm not handy, I'm not a handy person. So I have no business going and taking a job in construction or some, some job building something. I'm not a handyman. I know I'm more um, best suited for teaching in a social environment, being analytical, and um, working on things that are really creative. So I know that about myself and you need to know certain things about yourself, all right? You need to know what colors uh, excite you, what music excites you. Um, using music to change your, your mood, using uh, old shows that you used to watch as a kid uh, to change your, your mood. Like some people have uh, trouble sleeping, right? And one of the things I do, I watch old Bob Ross videos when he was a painter, he's painting stuff. Um, and I watch those videos and it makes me sleepy. I watch that to go to sleep because sometimes I struggle with going to sleep at night or I watch certain videos. I want you guys to pay attention or listen to sounds of the ocean. And I think that stems from my childhood because my parents used to play uh, uh, those sounds of the ocean when I was a kid and it resonates me even to this day or playing a white noise machine or whatever. Know what works for you. That's what's having, that's what emotional intelligence is all about. Knowing what works for you and being able to understand other people's emotions. Pay attention to uh, people, excuse me, pay attention to people and being, uh, being able to empathize and understand them and uh, sympathize with people or um, trying to see them, see uh, things from their perspective, okay, instead of trying to beat them to the next word or the next sentence, you know, understand where they're coming from, sitting back and listening and try to understand the full picture. Um, and that's what's great about emotional intelligence because it's something that we can work on. And um, it's not like, uh, what is it, IQ, you know, um, we're born with a certain IQ. That's what a lot of people say that is some, some people debate that, but um, emotional intelligence is something that can be developed and work on. And a lot of great leaders, a lot of people that are just great with people have great emotional intelligence. And I, I hope you guys uh, understand what I'm talking about. Um, I know I, I, I'm getting too excited and I'm fumbling my words a little bit, but I want you guys to understand that, hey, emotional intelligence is, is so important and you can use emotional intelligence to take your life to the next level. All right. So if you guys have any questions, you can contact me at 404-503-8069. I would love to work with you. I would love to be your coach, your counselor, counselor, your mentor, your trainer. I do all kinds of stuff at the Diverse Center. 
And if you need training, you can contact my staff at 404-503-8069 or go to the, the diversitycenter.com or email me at dcollins at the I appreciate your time to watch. I appreciate your time. <laughs> See, I'm over here stumbling again. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video and watch me stutter my words. All right, you guys have a good one.